In this video, we're going to go over our S30 race dash, uh, talk about some of the points and the features of it, as well as the installation. All right, so we have our, our shop dog Indigo. She's decided she wants to be part of the video. Um, but this is our uh, aluminum race dash uh, replacement. This with the brackets and things weighs in at five pounds. Um, what we're replacing is this. This is the uh, dash that we pulled out of the car behind me. Obviously, it's in pretty rough shape. But even with all the gauges and everything removed, this weighs in at 20 pounds. So you're cutting about 15 pounds out just with the dash. Um, this is designed to go in the, the 280 as a standalone by itself. Um, we're going to have a supplemental video that's going to touch on a couple of the 240 mounting differences. Um, but with this one here, um, if you want it to adapt to our aluminum 280Z center console, there's gonna be a drop down option that has uh, this plate that ties our center console into the bottom of this dash. Um, this one has some cutouts just to kind of give you an idea with uh, for four and a, four and a half inch uh, gauges, like aftermarket gauges and two and five eighths, kind of carries that um, original styling and as well as uh, some cutouts on the top that line up with the factory defrost vents, um, if that's something you wanted. However, um, we're gonna have an option too with no cutouts, so it'll just be blank. So you can put, you know, whatever kind of gauge display or anything you want in here, you know, drill all your own holes, do whatever you need for your particular setup. So um, this is kind of where we're, we're our starting point, and then we'll move into the car, and I'll show you how we're gonna install it. Another thing, just before we get it into the car, um, I have some blank uh, speed hug gauges. This one's two and five eighths, just kind of shows it popped in there. This is the four and a half, where it's basically, you know, you can put it in, then you tighten the ring in the, in the back. Um, and also, this uh, is gonna come with uh, this trim lock bulb seal that we're gonna wrap around this edge. Um, so when you get it, you'll wanna put this on prior to installing it because this is going to go up against the uh, the uh, window rubber that's inside the windshield rubber that's inside the car so i'm going to go put that on um, and then we're going to go inside the car mm. All right, here we are inside this pristine 280Z. Um, you can see we got the dash pulled out. We saw that on the ground. Um, we still have these guys in, the factory uh, um, defrost ducts, um, which if you were gonna try to retain them for you know those foggy days, great. We have those cutouts available. Otherwise, if you weren't gonna do that, you'd, you'd remove these. Um, we have the steering wheel off. That's You're gonna have to have the steering wheel off in order to get the dash in. Um, when we go to roll it in, um, if you're real worried about it, you might wanna pop your mirror off or drop the steering column down. We can get it in with both of them there, but it's a little bit tight. Uh, anyway, so I've already got the brackets uh, mounted. So there's these two factory mounting points here, and we're gonna stick these brackets with the rib nuts already in them right there. Uh, there is not a left and a right to these, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. Then we have these outside brackets, and there is a left and a right to that. You can see how this is notched out, and we have the, uh, so you can access to mount the screw. And so this tab is inboard, and it's the same thing on the passenger side. So these are M6 uh, hardware that we're going to include. Um, you're going to have a combination of M6 and M5 uh, stainless steel hardware that you're going to use to assemble this. Um, right here, we do have our 280Z aluminum center console just fitted in. doesn't have the shift boot bezel or anything. I uh, just wanted to have it in here to give you a reference. So this is our aluminum console. And then this is the plate that I was showing you outside of the car that will have the bottom of the dash attached to um, right here. And... Uh, it will, um, the dash will also work without this. So if you were just gonna gut this and leave an open transmission tunnel, um, you can eliminate all this. But if you wanted the center console, it is made to adapt to this. So next we're gonna grab the dash and I'm gonna kind of show you how to get it fitted in here. 
um, some of the different uh, mounting points and getting it adjusted and getting it set up and some of the other features. So I'm gonna go grab that dash and we'll get it slid in here. All right, so we got the dash back in the car. We're looking at the inside of it. You can see I got the bulb seal on. This is the back side of those dummy speed hut gauges. Um, one of the things underneath here, you can see we have an array of holes and those are there so that way if you uh, wanted to get some R clamps or cushion clamps um, to route some wiring nice and tucked underneath this lip, you can. Uh, these slotted holes here, um, you can put an R clamp in there too. Uh, we don't include the R clamps, but we wanted to put the holes in there so that way you had an easy spot to mount. Um, but these slotted holes line up with these holes in this plate so once we get it set into position, uh, you can bolt it. And uh, you know, obviously there's adjustment uh, forward, back, and then on this you have adjustment left to right. So um, you have quite a bit of adjustment to get it mounted to this plate. So, cause this center console isn't um, all the way secured. So you can see there's some movement in that. So you can get everything adjusted and then get it tightened down. So um, when you go to put this in, like I was saying, uh, if you wanted to, this car, obviously we're not, don't care about the paint or anything inside, but, um, in your car, if it's uh, in pretty pristine condition, you might want to take the bolts out, drop the steering column, or pop the mirror off. So as you can see, when I go to put this in, it gets kind of tight as I rotate it into position. So, um, and then there we go, we got it setting in there. And uh, then we'll go over some of the adjustment on this. So, we have the cutout here, um, as you can see, for the, the steering column. And there is enough room for your, uh, you know, your the, the factory bits that are here. Um, I know, like, in my other Z, I stripped all this off. I know a lot of guys are doing that. Some of you might even be replacing the whole steering column with something different. Um, but if you were going to leave the, the factory setup here, um, that will still fit as well. Um, if you're putting the, the clamshell back on, you know, the top section will fit. Um, on the bottom, um, it'll start to interfere as you come down. So you will need to trim the plastic if you're going to uh, try to retain the uh, bottom part of the clamshell. Pull that back out of the way. Um, and so now we've got it in place. You can see that it's, it's just loose. Um, we're going to basically align uh, these two holes with those brackets that we had mounted in the middle. Um, those brackets do have some flex to them. And so if you find that the hole isn't quite lining up, you might just have to tilt it forward and uh, flex those brackets a little bit until you get those to line up. Uh, really, they're there just to uh, keep some vi keep vibration down. Uh, most of what's going to hold this in place are going to be these outer two. But uh, again, these outer two have some slots. And so you'll put your uh, hardware through here and run a nut in the bottom. You can reach um, from the, the outside on both of them to actually get there and tighten it. And that's kind of a feature of the side here where we don't leave it open, um, but you'll actually put these in after you've got the, the dash situated and wired up how you want. And then you'll actually screw them in with the hardware from the front, nice stainless steel button heads. And uh, one of the, the things that, you know, if you've worked on the dash in these before, is that it can be kind of a pain to pull the dash in and out. But if you need to access something behind here and you don't necessarily want to pull the dash out, you can pull the panel off the side and actually be able to reach in behind. So that's a, a cool little feature. Um, this is broken, but it's your uh, like the A-pillar plastic. You can see it's notched out here. And um, these will actually fit inside here. If you're going to retain the plastic, um, you'll want the plastic mounted before you put the, the dash in because you have this uh, little lip here that won't fit inside uh, after it's on. But if it's, you leave it there, um, that'll work no problem. Uh, the other thing is, is that you have uh, tabs underneath here on the driver and passenger side that are slotted so you can adjust it in and out and then it'll tie into these holes on these factory mounting brackets. And again, we'll have the included hardware that you'll be able to bolt that in. So you're gonna bolt it in here, same thing on the passenger side. It's gonna attach here, here, here and here. And then 
if you're utilizing our aluminum center console and this uh, radio delete plate, um, you'll also be able to install the hardware right back in those slotted holes, which you can't see now, but that'll pinch that in. So this will hold this nice and tight. So you can see I have this adjusted out. It sits right on top of the edge of the console and then you can pull it basically up and flush. So from this point, you know, you can have it with the kind of a factory-esque uh, gauge setup or blank and you can cut and drill and do whatever you want to add your own switches, gauges, whatever you need. And uh, this is uh, obviously raw aluminum, um, but we'll also have these available in powder coated black. So all this can be powder coated black if you like, or you can keep it raw or paint it whatever color um, you'd like. So um, this is the, the general uh, setup. I'll go ahead and uh, um, finish getting all these pieces bolted in so it's nice and secure. Well, in this I intentionally put out so you could actually get to them. All right, so we've got it uh, sitting in here in position. Um, these guys out here are M6s. We have M5s here, M5s that run down here. These are M5s and then up underneath are M6s. Um, anyway, but this uh, gives you the, the idea of how this is going to fit in here and look. Um, the uh, dash and this one's obviously tied into the 280Z console. Um, this is with the layout, obviously with the factory-esque uh, gauge setup. And like I had said previously, we will have an option with no cutouts in this. So you're able to uh, uh, customize it to however you want. Um, these are available uh, from skillard.com and uh, please reach out to us if you have any questions.